everybody. It is springtime. It is almost Easter. So we are preparing to do some fun art for the holiday. Um, today's artwork is going to be about the cross and the resurrection and all that comes with celebrating Easter. For our supplies, all you need is a big paintbrush, a small paintbrush for detail, watercolors, a white crayon if you want to leave, bring any detail that is not going to be painted, and of course, water. Um, and then we have a white paper. It could be construction paper, paint, uh, printing paper, but we are using a multimedia um, watercolor paper and then taping it down just to leave a nice little frame around the outside. To get started, we're gonna sketch out a hill and then we're gonna put our one, two, three crosses on the top of the hill. Or you can just do one cross if you would like. Um, so I'm, some of us are going to do like one flat line and then some of us are gonna do a hill, so go for it. One, two, three, go. <laughs> really gently, one, two, three. a little hill. I'm going to sketch my crosses really, really gently. You're not gonna see them later, so detail doesn't really matter. It's okay um, if it's not perfect, because you're gonna paint over it anyways. Look how I make my crosses. I do that, that and works. then on the outside, I need an eraser. I need an eraser. Okay. Can you go get an eraser, please? Sure. Thank you. I can always fill that in if I don't like that, which is fine. It'll all be black. Okay, we're gonna make a quick little sunset here, and then we're gonna cover all of the ground and the crosses black. So we will come back to all of these details here in just a little bit. The first thing that we're gonna paint is the sky. It's gonna be kind of a sunsetty color. I'm gonna start with red then orange, then yellow, and kind of blend it together. And there's no need to worry about your crosses. You'll still see them. We'll go over that later. Um, try to leave this part blank because that's not really necessary. So. All right, we're gonna go with the big palette of colors that was getting, there was too light. So we're gonna go for the red on the top. That should be darker. So less water. You wanna grab as much color as you can. There we go, that's what I wanted. And then I'm going to really dab that off. Then I'm gonna grab a darker orange. Darker orange. Whoa. Now if you don't like that stark contrast in color, then you can just blend up into the color and drag it down as far as you can. And then I'm gonna go one step lighter with some yellow and I'm gonna go up into my orange with that yellow and bring it down. Whoa. <laughs> Grab some water and and bring it down through the whole thing. From the, even from the sky. You need to go back and forth like you're the sky like this. Okay. There we go. I love that you can take your watercolors and make them as dark and as light as you would like. The more water you add, the more watery it will look, but less water will be nice and bold like we have over here. Add a little dark up there too, I like that. Awesome. All right, so once we get this, we want to let it totally dry and because we're going to add in the black. If we add the black on top right now, it's going to all bleed through and 
mush everywhere. So I love how we all have a little bit different shades of colors. Super, super cool. If you have little puddles like I have, I'm gonna go grab a napkin and you can just dab that off. Kind of leave some cool colors. I wanted to add a little bit of clouds and so I just took off the color here. So I just kind of dab, dab, dabbed where I thought I would want a cloud and lift up some of that color. Once your colors have dried, we're ready to do some black. We're gonna just go straight up black, make it look like a really cool dark shadow. And you might have to come back and once it's dry and then come back and do another layer to make it extra dark. So that is what we're gonna do. And if your crosses are not there or not super clear, it's okay, just make a cross and then you can add details. We're gonna use our smaller brush for the crosses and then our bigger brush for the bigger areas. and you are happy with how it looks and you can take the tape off very slowly and carefully and there oopsie it's all right all right and there you have it a nice little frame to have with your picture some water got under my paint there so or under my tape all right well happy easter and enjoy some time with your family celebrating jesus and all that comes with it